up you guys? Okay, today's video is gonna be super fun because we are packing baby girl's hospital bag her diaper bag, we're getting her all dialed. I don't even know if we'll bring the whole like diaper bag in, we might just bring some of the things in. But I'm super excited because I just got a brand new diaper bag and it is so cute. It looks like one of those like, it's just like bougie, sleek, like, I don't know, it's really cute. So this is what the bag looks like. I got it from this company called Mina Bay. They sent it to me and it is so nice. Like I've literally never felt like a bag like, just like was so sleek and like, like look, it has magnets, it just comes up so nice and then you can zip it here and another really cool thing is it actually like zips so nice and by the way guys this isn't like sponsored or branded or anything like it's amazing like i love this bag um so which i will give you guys a more realistic update once i use it because i don't know what exactly my needs are for a diaper bag but as far as like a bag goes really nice you got a front pocket here you got side pockets and then there's like a back pocket and then a pocket right here for a bottle and then a whole bunch of compartments in the inside. So we're gonna fill those bad boys up. Also, something that's been really funny between this channel and then um, my TikToks is everyone thinks that this sweater right here says baby girl's name on it. They're like, oh my gosh, I, her name is on the sweater. But it says little love. So it's not her name, but everyone thinks on TikTok is it's like flipped and they can't really read it. They're like, it says her name and they're trying to figure out what it is. Some people know that it says little love and then a lot of people think that it's her name, but no one knows her name yet. So soon. Okay. So we're going to lay this down. We're going to lay everything out that we're going to put in it first. I'm definitely going to have to go over here and pick a bow. So let's see what we got in here. I'm thinking I got to pick one that matches her outfit with her name on it. But you guys can't see that, but I think this one might be our closest bet. Might be the one, hopefully that fits her head. It's so soft. I got these on Amazon, by the way. I got them in like a pack, like I got this, this, and then like um, this one. Guys, so clearly you don't really need a diaper bag for the hospital because they do supply you with like diapers and stuff, I've been told. And like I'm pretty sure like bottles and all that stuff. But we're gonna get her diaper bag ready. Even if we don't need it, we're gonna keep in the car, you know. But there is some things that we will need at the hospital, which I am so excited for. So one is the sweater with her name on it. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys thought I was gonna show you her name, didn't you? Okay, so this, it's literally basically like kind of the same sweater, it's a different color, but it says her name on it, Stitch, and it's so cute. So um, hopefully we get a cute picture with her in that at the hospital, but um, I actually ordered one on Etsy and it was like low-key kind of expensive and I like it, but I'm very curious to see if I can make it even cuter. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I ordered this on Amazon and I'm gonna try and stitch it and see if I can do it just cause I like doing crafts and stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool if I made it myself. Hopefully I have to bring her little picture outfit, but that's not like, I'm probably just gonna take a picture in her and then take it off her. And I also have a little sign that I ordered on Etsy. It is this, it says, hello world. It's so cute. And then, okay, I gotta be careful showing you guys this because it actually does have her name on it. Okay, so I covered up with this one, but basically it says her name and then you can see it says Bruckner right there. And then this is, so it says the date, time, weight, and length so we can write all that and then get a cute picture with her at the hospital. And then I thought this would be really cute in the nursery after, like just set up. Like I was thinking it would be really cute just like sat right there and then it's like, you know, it has her birthday and like her weight and everything. I think that'd be super cute. So like in the bag, there's like so many different compartments. It's kind of hard to see like inside the bag, but I'm going to put one of her first outfit, this one, in it. Um, that's the picture one, which I still have to make. But then I'm going to do this bow with it. We're gonna put that in there. And then also the other outfits that I picked out, I thought were kind of cute. I feel like this, just like simple, cute, add a little bow to it. Um, you know, hopefully, I don't even know if this stuff's gonna fit her. I mean, it's newborn, but who knows? And then I just have this plain little like white onesie if we're just chilling. And honestly, I feel like she'll be in her diaper a lot, so it doesn't really matter. We'll pack those just in case, you never know. I don't think we'll need these at all, but I'm just gonna bring them for the sake of packing a diaper bag. Um, I got little burp claws. And then I really do not need diapers, but for the sake of the video, we're putting diapers in here to pet. And it's so funny, because I'm gonna look back at this one day and be like, what the hell was I putting in a diaper bag? I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I, I know that, so I think it's gonna be really funny. Okay, and then I picked out three different pacifiers. Um, they're all like different um, shapes and sizes, so like they have like different, I don't even know what you would call it, like the top part. Anyway, I'm gonna put them in this little pacifier um, holder, which is really nice, because you can like put this on your stroller and then, you know, carry it around. Or you can like tie it to a bag or something. Obviously I gotta pack the hello world. 
And then I am gonna bring, I don't know if she'll need these, but they're just like little mittens so she doesn't like scratch her face. Um, maybe they'll be useful, maybe not. I'm just gonna bring them. They literally take up no space. So I'll put those in there as well. And this is something, um, I don't know, I'm gonna bring some hand sanitizer because you know if you're changing baby's diaper and stuff, obviously you have to wash your hands like a ton, but I have to make sure that this is like safe for a baby too, so. I'll do a little research on that before I use that. Okay, and then the company that sent me this bag also gave me like a um, basically travel like changing pad. So I'm gonna put that in there as well, which this one seems very nice. Like it'd be easy to clean and stuff. So I'm gonna pack that. Like I said, I'm not gonna need this, but we're just, we're putting a bag together, okay? It's fun. I'll probably honestly end up pulling some of this stuff and maybe just put it in my bag, but I wanted to pack one. Um, just because I was really excited. All right, now we have to pick out a blanket, which we have so many different options. Let me show you guys. Um, basically, she probably won't need a blanket, but kind of more so to cover the car seat when we go outside and stuff, which it does have a cover, but I'm gonna bring a small one just in case, and I want to get a thin one, so I'm trying to see which one would be perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one. It's kind of like a muslin, like swaddle um, blanket, but it is so thin, like, Okay, that's the back of it, but literally like you can like see through it like it's so thin So I think I'm just gonna do this so that way I can like put it over her car seat Maybe if it's too sunny Probably won't need it, but it's better to have it in the car just in case I was also told by my friend to buy some baby formula So I got some I think the brand's called Bobby organic infant formula milk based powder just in case she was like just in case like she's like just have formula in your house she's like if a store is closed and the baby's not eating or it's not working she's like it's always good to have formula in case so I did buy that so obviously I'm not gonna bring that because I was all that stuff but I am planning on breastfeeding so hopefully that works really well I think my plan is to breastfeed and then pump here and there um, I don't know, this could totally change, but that's my goal for now. And then if it is hard, I'm definitely going to try and maybe get like a lactation consultant. Um, I'm gonna have one like ready to go just in case. It is hard, but hopefully it's not prayers that it's not and it all goes good. Okay, speaking of breastfeeding, I wanted to show you guys the two pumps I bought. So I bought a portable one, which is the Mom Cozy one. And these ones seem really nice. I don't really know too much about pumps. I did a little bit of research and tried to figure out which one I think would be best for me. But these are the portable pumps. So that's what they, this one's upside down. <laughs> that's what they look like. I have them all charged and ready to go. I don't know, I just did the research on which one I think would be a best fit for me. And then the other one that I got is the Spectra. So a lot of people said don't like have a portable one and then have one uh, that you can plug in at home. This is what it looks like, it's blue, and then it has all the parts to it, which I'll have to disinfect and wash and everything and sterilize, but so that's the, my like at home pump. It, it seems like so much because it's like, I'm excited for this next chapter, but I'm also like, oh my God, there's so much I don't know. And I know I'll figure it out as I go, but I'm like, I just feel so lost, but I'm not worried about it. I know I'll figure it out, but I'm like, I don't even know how to pump. Like, I don't know all these parts. There's literally so many parts. I was like trying to put everything together. I'm like, what is this? Like, this is complicated, but I'll figure it out. And then the last thing I'm gonna put is some Honest Diaper Rash Cream. I have this kind and then just a little, little booty paste thing, but I don't even know if I'm gonna need this, but we're gonna add this in here. Also, guys, Comment down below what I'm missing because we're gonna throw in um, two baby bottles just for good measure, which I know I'm not even gonna use these, but we're gonna have them just in case. Now we have to see how the diaper bag looks like on. Also, if you guys are pregnant, you have to get one of these jumpsuits from JD Fit. They're so comfy and so cute. Um, this is the blue one. I love it. I feel like they're super flattering. But anyway, I just wanna show you guys my cute outfit. Um, let's see. Do we got the mom look? Are we ready? Ooh, she's ready. Oh, there is something really cool about this bag too I want to show you guys and like I said it's not a brand deal I'm just very excited about it because I think it's a really cool bag but I actually have stroller clips so it clips to my stroller really nicely I want to show you guys okay, so this is the stroller I have the Nuno Pippa light and then I don't know what stroller just the Nuno one that goes with it but anyway they it basically has like these little clips that I got from the company right here you just loop them through and they clip like that and then it's so cool because it clips to my diaper bag but then your um, bag just clips out of your stroller just like that and then I feel like you have everything right here. And that's super convenient and nice. 
But obviously I'm not gonna bring the whole stroller to the, um, what's it called, the hospital. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. But I did prank my husband the other day and I did the water break a prank and he literally grabbed like the car seat and like he brought part of like the base, like the attachment from the car seat to the stroller. And I'm like, babe, like, what are you doing? Like, cause he was in such a panic mode. I'm like, relax. Guys, and I also want to show you my little setup. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I have a little setup in our bedroom because obviously baby girl is going to be sleeping right here next to our bed. So we have a bassinet that's coming very, very soon. <laughs> it needs to get here because little girl could be here any day, but the bassinet's going to be right here. And then it has like a drop down side so I can like easily get her, which will be really nice. And then we have the hatch sound machine right here where if I tap it, it'll go. Okay. So for the little setup, we have this, I think it's called a Kikaru. Kikaru? It's like a little peanut. Yeah, Kikaru um, peanut. And this changing table looks really nice because the one I have in um, her bedroom, seems like it could get stained really easy. Like this, you could just like wipe down really nice. Um, and then I have right here, we got some wipes. I'll obviously have to have like some diaper, um, what's called, diaper cream. And then I have her newborn, um, what's, why am I drawing a blank on everything, <laughs> diapers. And then I'm sure I'll fill this with like some like little onesies or stuff, just like things she'll sleep in. But that's our current bedroom setup. I can't wait for the bassinet to get here. Then we literally have everything ready to go for her. Um, it's crazy, she literally could be here just any day. <laughs> Guys, like Dasha B's hospital bag is packed and ready to go when he's got, these are the only snacks he has so far. His first form stuff. <laughs> right, you guys, but that is pretty much all I have for um, packing her diaper bag. It's pretty much ready to go. I feel like it like is missing a lot, so let me know if it is. But um, anyway, I am going um, sh clothing shopping to this really cute like baby clothing store, which I haven't really done any clothing shopping for her. Like, okay, yeah, she has a lot of clothes, but a lot of that was like either gifted or um, baby shower or like friends have like given it. So like, I personally haven't done too much shopping. I only went to like Old Navy once. And then I think I ordered a few things online at Old Navy. So I haven't done any, but I'm going um, with some friends and I'm super excited, but it's like this big warehouse sale. So if I do end up getting a lot of stuff, I will make a video for you guys, like a, maybe another baby girl clothing haul. And then that might be the last video before I go into labor because I don't know, like I said, it could be any day. But if I do that and I get enough clothes, I will make a video for you guys because I know you guys loved the last video where I did like a little clothing haul for it. But anyway, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below things that you think I will need. Um, go for it. I do not mind at all. I love all the help and I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.